Last June, we talked about some of the scariest submerged animatronics out there, but there are just so many more of them worth mentioning. Submechanophobia, which is the general fear of underwater man-made objects, is still incredibly popular on social media. Just the idea of being in the water with these animatronics is enough to strike fear into even the toughest viewers. Recently, I conducted another poll with my viewers to rank some of the scariest submerged animatronics out there. And today, we're going to take a look at how they stack up as voted on by the fans. Number 10, Simbo Spondylus at Austria's Triassic Park. Jurassic Park may be a work of fiction, but Triassic Park is indeed real. Located in the Eastern Alps of Austria, this family leisure park is rich in paleological history. This park was once part of the Tethys Sea, with its petrified corals and fossils dating all the way back to the Triassic period of over 200 million years ago. As such, this park is a goldmine for dino maniacs. Families can dig for fossils, enjoy a dinosaur playground, and feast their eyes on Simbo Spondylus, a Triassic period ichthyosaur and a real-life sea monster. All I can say is that this top 10 list is starting out big, because this one is so massive it can clearly be seen from Google Earth. The sheer size of this animatronic can easily intimidate even the most seasoned dinosaur fan, and the way it slowly rises out of the water makes it an epic sight indeed. There's no doubt this prehistoric dude has inhabited the nightmares of countless Austrian children. Still though, while you certainly wouldn't want to get in the water with him, its scale alone makes it one of the park's most memorable man-made attractions. By the way, special thanks to YouTube channel Taurus Presents for providing this incredible footage. Number 9. Wooly Bill at Ohio's Cleveland Zoo At 183 acres, the Cleveland Zoo is one of Northeast Ohio's most popular attractions. This zoo is home to one of North America's largest collection of primates, as well as many other memorable exhibits, one of which is the 50-foot Yaga Tree. This educational family exhibit is located in the zoo's Australian Adventures section. Inside this mock baobab tree is a snake slide and the crocodile cavern sinkhole. Here you will come face to face with a submerged and detailed animatronic crocodile. Known by zoo staff as Wooly Bill, this croc sits in a mock cave at the bottom of the tree. As you pass by, this croc will snap its jaws at you and lunge out of the water. The fact that he does it at random intervals can easily be quite startling for some. In fact, several park guests online remember being terrified by this animatronic as kids. YouTube user Weeders AJ says, quote, That thing used to scare me so much when I was little. Reddit user Ken6288 says, quote, I cannot emphasize how scary this is. And YouTube user Alex Dionysos says, quote, Used to hate that croc when I was younger. So if you've got both submechanophobia and herpetophobia, you may want to steer clear of this guy. Interestingly enough though, there aren't too many photos or videos of him online. So if you want to snap a rare pic for your Instagram, Wooly Bill awaits. Number 8. The Shark at Thailand Safari World Found in Thailand's capital city, Bangkok, Safari World is the most popular open zoo in the country. In addition to its many animal exhibits and shows, the park also offers the Safari River Ride. Similar to Disney's Jungle Cruise, this slow-moving boat ride offers an array of animatronic animals for guests to take a gander at. This ride has all sorts of animals on display. Monkeys, crocodiles, elephants, a wild boar, and even a real snake that sits above the passengers. But one thing on this jungle safari ride sticks out for just how out of place it is. Towards the end of the ride, the boat will pass by a small but deep pool housing a great white shark. This shark will emerge with its jaw wide open and spray water from his mouth. And on a submechanophobic level, this thing is absolutely terrifying. The fact that it sits in such a small but relatively deep pool can easily make one cringe at the thought of being in the water with it. Plus, the fact that it gets so close to the boat is fairly unsettling as well. While it may not have the budget of Jungle Cruise, one can easily make the case that Safari River Ride is much more terrifying. Number 7. The Orca in New Zealand's Kelly Tarleton Sea Life Aquarium This aquarium remains one of the country's most popular tourist attractions and received the 2020 Traveler's Choice Award from TripAdvisor. By far one of the coolest things about this aquarium is its penguin exhibit featuring both King and Gen 2 penguins. At one point, this exhibit also featured a dark ride that took guests through it. Passengers boarded enclosed snow-cat vehicles and were given up-close views of the aquarium's many penguins. In addition to these adorable avians, the ride would also pass by a mock arctic glacier set. 
As the vehicles pass by, an orca suddenly emerges from the water with a seal in its mouth. This startling moment is made even worse by the orca's size. It really emphasizes how deep the water is. And since the room isn't that well lit, many passengers didn't see the orca coming. Realistically though, this is exactly how orcas act outside of Free Willy. Unfortunately, this dark ride would be removed in 2012 as part of a massive renovation. On the bright side, the dark ride was turned into a walkthrough exhibit, allowing guests more time to view and take pictures of the penguins. Number 6. The Water Dragon at Japan's Toei Kyoto Studio Park You may have already heard of Universal Studios Japan, but it's not the only media-based theme park in the country. Located in Kyoto, Toei Studio is a theme park slash film set hybrid modeled after an Edo period village. The set is rich in Japanese culture, and guests can actually observe the filming of period dramas firsthand. Think of it as the Japanese equivalent of what Disney's MGM Studios opened as. In addition, this park features a variety of restaurants, shops, and curios spread out around different areas. One of these areas is the Port Town. Everything seems scenic and peaceful, but within the water lies a fearsome monster. Every so often, a water dragon will rise out of the middle of a special effects pool. This beast looks like a cross between a T-Rex and a Brachiosaurus, and the design is extremely impressive. It then proceeds to spray mist from its mouth, all while dazzling park guests around the pool. For some mechanophobics though, the expressionless eyes and open mouth facial expression only add to this animatronic's nightmare factor. If you ever find yourself in Kyoto, see if you can pay this fellow a visit. Number 5. The Shark Chase and the Pirates at England's Drayton Manor Though no longer in operation, Pirate's Adventure was once a notable dark ride at Drayton Manor. This slow-moving boat ride took heavy inspiration from Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean, so much so that it actually has a few show elements that some may classify as flat-out knockoffs of the Disney attraction. There's even a scene where prisoners try to trick a guard dog into giving them the key to their cell. Does that sound familiar? But regardless, the ride as a whole was still enjoyable in its own right, and it did have some unique elements. One of which was a scene where a shark would chase someone in the water. Though you only see the fin, this scene is still pretty unsettling. The darkness of the room combined with the thought of actually being chased is enough to strike fear into the hearts of many. But this isn't the only submerged animatronic on this ride. There's also this pirate who stands in waist-deep water. His goofy grin, cartoonish facial features, stained shirt, and limited movement make him a strong contender for children's nightmares. Sadly though, this ride would be shut down around 2015 after years of dilapidation. And in 2020, some of the ride's props were privately auctioned off, bringing a close to this memorable attraction. Number 4. The Bunyip at Australia's Enomoga Wildlife Sanctuary this is by far the most obscure animatronic on this list. Located just north of the city of Albury, this animatronic sat at the now-defunct Itamoga Wildlife Sanctuary. Here, sick and injured native animals would receive care, and the public would be able to check out various animal enclosures. Guests could also check out a gift shop, as well as horrify their children at the Bunyip exhibit. As I've said before, the Bunyip is a water-dwelling creature from Australian mythology that comes out at night to devour anyone in sight. In my last Submechanophobia video, we discussed the more famous Bunyip attraction in the town of Murray Bridge. This Bunyip exhibit could be considered its sister attraction, since it operates in the same way. Guests would insert coins and watch the Bunyip rise out of the water, and after scaring the ever-loving hell out of children, the creature would sink back beneath the surface. Just like the one in Murray Bridge, this Bunyip would deteriorate over the years. And at one point, the sanctuary actually decided to add a horn to it, which somehow makes it even more horrifying. As the years went on, this monstrosity would get more and more terrifying. And after the sanctuary closed down in 2012, it would sit abandoned on the property. Just the look at this thing really gives Foxy the Pirate a run for his money, doesn't it? Number 3. The Kappa at Japan's G. Kawayama Park Yet another mythical creature on this list is the Kappa. This monster is a type of yokai, which are supernatural creatures from Japanese mythology. It is also among the most well-known yokai of all time, and has made countless media appearances. However, the backstory of the Kappa is so disturbing, I can't even explain it all without getting demonetized. So here's my careful explanation. In order to keep children from swimming unsupervised, parents in ancient Japan created the Kappa story. This monster lurks in bodies of water, and is on the hunt for human souls. 
The way it does this is by sneaking up on swimmers and stealing a supposed human organ known as the Shrikodama. According to actual, real, not fake Japanese mythology, the Shrikodama holds the human soul, taking the form of a small ball that can be found in... And as if this wasn't bad enough, one of the only ways to defeat the Kappa is by no joke farting on it. Naturally, it was decided that a creature with such totally messed up origins would make a great attraction for a scenic park. Reportedly, Shiji Kawayama Park officials decided that such a terrifying creature would actually draw more people to come and see it. And they were definitely right on the money. This grotesque, highly detailed creature sits under the water, coming out every so often to terrify onlooking children. In fact, in several videos of it, you can actually hear children screaming in horror at its appearance. And considering this thing's backstory, can you blame them? The animatronic's appearance has changed several times. One variation has two smaller kappas alongside it, and in another instance, the kappa is actually seen holding the Shri Kodama against its tongue. If you see this guy in your nightmares tonight, I sincerely apologize. Number 2. King Kong at Germany's Serengeti Park This is by far one of the biggest and most intimidating submerged animatronics of all time. Interestingly enough, this is yet another zoo animatronic to make this list. This ride can be found at a zoological garden named Serengeti Park in the German state of Lower Saxony. While the park as a whole is mostly a zoo, it does feature a few rides. These include a Ferris wheel and Aqua Safari, a boat ride that takes place on a real-life airboat. Just like Disney's Jungle Cruise, it features both animatronic animals and a skipper who narrates throughout the excursion. However, one thing it has over Jungle Cruise is a special guest appearance from King Kong himself. Towards the end of this ride, the boat will approach a waterfall. Then, a massive animatronic gorilla emerges from behind it, looking quite pissed off. Its size easily dwarfs every other animatronic on this list. Those flashing, multicolored eyes somehow make it even creepier, and the fact that you're on a real floating boat makes the experience even more unnerving. On the other hand, you may be wondering why he's holding his hands out like someone stole his chicken parm sub. Well, interestingly enough, German manufacturer Hus Rides has a flat ride called King Kong, which consists of a very similar looking King Kong animatronic that picks up a gondola full of people. So it's entirely likely that this animatronic was repurposed from that flat ride. Either way though, this gorilla is a big old box of nope for submechanophobics. Number 1. The Shark at Texas's Downtown Aquarium Heading over to Houston, Texas, the downtown aquarium is tucked in the middle of the city. Not only does it have dreamlike fish exhibits, but it also has a ferris wheel and a chance rides train ride named Shark Voyage. This charmingly detailed train takes guests through the aquarium's shark tank. Passengers will be able to get an incredible view inside the massive acrylic tunnel. But things aren't all peaceful and scenic. After exiting the tunnel, the train goes outside and passes by a small man-made pond. All of a sudden, jets of water burst from the pond and a voracious, bloodthirsty shark raises its head out of the water. While the animatronic is relatively small compared to the other ones on this list, the true horror lies with its design. It looks much more like a machine than the other animatronics on this list. Because the water is so shallow, you can actually see the mechanics that operate it. A big part of why submechanophobia affects so many people is the fear of being stuck in the water with these machines. These animatronics, with their moving parts and potentially corrosive metal materials, drive an honest fear into the minds of many. Plus, the terrifying, sharp-toothed, and bloody-jawed appearance of this shark only adds to how bone-chilling it can be for some. There's no doubt that this ride has raised a whole new generation of submechanophobics. But for me, I just love talking about these masterful works of engineering. But wait, there's more. Check out the top link in the description for even more submechanophobic content from my good friends at FastPass Facts. You can find both a fresh perspective on these machines and even more submerged animatronics that I haven't discussed here. Their channel is by far one of the greatest theme park channels on YouTube. And if you love animatronics, they are definitely the place to be. So feel free to check out their channel through the link in the description. And before we wrap things up, I want to give a special shout out to my newest Patreon supporters. Verbal shout outs start at the gold tier, so if you don't hear your name, it will be listed at the end of the video. Here is a special shout out to Matt Wormington. Thank you all so much, and if you want to support me on Patreon, I've put a link in the description. Your support will help out the channel. 
Thanks for watching everyone. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. You can follow me on social media on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, or you can check out my website at themeparkcrazy.com. This is Theme Park Crazy, and I'll see you all next time. Ah,